high bands of high quality entertainment. Once again, I got more CDs and stuff in the mail, so I'm going to unbox it for you, including a book. And I just finished uh, doing a video where it's called The Best of Canadian Stud Muff, and it's uh, the music I used to do, and I, I've chosen the 20 best songs that I've created. And it's going to be a free, free download for you all. I'm just warning you. Some people like my music, okay? Three or four of you. And later this afternoon, I'm doing another... Uh, does the album suck? Obviously, I already, I already know it does from what I've heard. It's the Beach Boys, Summer in Paradise. I, I can't wait to listen to that. And I'm also going to give it a uh, track by track review. Dangerous holding the knife when I'm holding up. <laughs> For a second there, I thought, I never ordered this. I'll show you in a second here. I actually forgot I ordered. And these are new orders that I've ordered. They're, they're not CDs that I've waited three months for. And I think I should be almost done ordering stuff for a while. I do, I do actually cut back once or twice a week. So it's one, two, three CDs and a book. A rock music book. And I know a lot of you are going to be interested in this. It's not the Beatles, but it's one of those very, very, very popular bands. No, it's not Nickelback. It's another in the series of, uh, it's called On Track. Every album, every song. I've got so many now. I've got Yes, David... No, I don't have David Bowie. I, I'd like to... I've got a David Bowie book which has enough information on the whole song. It's a really big, thick book. But, uh, yes, uh, Genesis, the Beatles, the solo years, it's the only one that was crappy. Anyway, there's a lot of them. And, and the latest is Queen. Every album, every song, like I just said. And it's just, I guess, this guy's opinion. What does he know? But I do. I enjoy reading other pe other people's opinions. I don't always agree with, you know, every song. He might dislike a song that I love. Oh, Blue Oyster Cult is another one that just came to mind. Uh, let's just read one, okay? And then you can get a feel for how these books are. They talk about each album and then they go, he goes through each song and just talks about it. And sometimes there's some inf interesting information. I just woke up four hours ago. I'm going to try and think of one. I know. I'll go for what I feel is one of Queen's most underrated songs. See what he says about it. It's from Innuendo. Oh, he even does the, the Cosmos Rock. With uh, Paul Rogers on vocals. Ride the Wild Wind. Definitely one of my top ten Queen songs. He says, This is a this is very much a Roger Taylor song, an up-tempo update to I'm in love with my car. The arrangement is dominated by guitar bass, a bubbling synthesizer, and what sounds like a drum loop. There are no guitar harmonies and only a very few vocal tricks. Just a queen... Just a queen's... I don't know how you say that word, the way he has it. Just a queen-type harmony vocal in the third chorus. An early version with Taylor's guide vocal is on the 2011 reissue of Innuendo, released as an instrumental as part of the eye. So he doesn't really say what he thinks about it, but try one more. 
We're not in a hurry, are we? Mustafa, the opening track from jazz, and I love jazz, and I love I love that song too. I know some people think it's kind of a bit too over the top and weird, but I, I've always loved it. Arabic chants and scales are not your standard rock fare, but then Queen were not your average rock band. The song ends with a multi-tracked wall of voices. Mustafa was played in full in 1980, and sometimes in 1981. Freddie would occasionally improvise part of the song in one of his vocal ex... Oh my god, this guy likes to use words I can't pronounce. Like... The... Of his vocal extromporsations on sub sub on, on on the following tours an edited version yeah see so far like I want to know his opinion of the songs but so far it's more like just information but we'll see it's so I know I'm still gonna enjoy reading it and some information and there's a few pictures throughout. So yeah. Now, CDs. I've been hoping that this band would release newly remastered versions of these CDs from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Because these CDs are from, I think, the late 80s. I know there was a box set that was remastered, but from what I've seen, it's pretty expensive now. But anyway, I finally got on CD, I used to own it on vinyl, I absolutely loved it, Talking Heads. More songs about buildings and food. See, uh, you know, I wish record companies, they would release it the way it looks. And I'm sure it's, you know, like the back. That wasn't the original back cover. I don't, I don't think that was the original back cover. I don't know. Then it's just a little write-up and lyrics. All it says is 1978, and that's when the, the album was released. But, you know, I'm sure it's still going to sound fine. Of course, I have uh, Fear of Music, and it sounds... It's from uh, when CDs were first made, basically. And it still sounds good, so, yeah. Boring label. I also have uh, Talking Heads 77. And their greatest hits. And a double live one. I forget the name of it at the moment. And I also got another Talking Heads I've never owned. It's got a little crack on the back. Remain in light. Crack there. But I got, I bought blank cases. So this came out in 1980. No, I guess Fear of Music was in 79. I was thinking it was 1980. No, it was 1980. So they, they released two albums in 1980. I could be wrong. But I have heard this album, like, you know, wherever. I absolutely love Once in a Lifetime and Cross-Eyed and Painless. But I think about half of the album I just never appreciated. So now I will finally get to hopefully appreciate all of them comes with the lyrics. And then finally, a brand new CD. That's right, that came out. And also, uh, Paul McCartney's Flaming Pie. It was released today. I ordered it from Amazon on Prime, and it ain't coming yet. 
I don't know why, there's some kind of delay. I'm going to phone up Amazon and I'm going to say, do you not know who I am? So, it is Bob Dylan's rough and rowdy ways. That's what I saw when I opened it, just for a split second I was a little confused, but I know it's for that song, Murder Most Foul. There. And I heard that uh, when it came out, and I was very impressed with it. And I also heard, I played this album once on Spotify, and I liked it. So. Love your, I would love your thoughts in the comment section below about this album. So it's two CDs, and the one is just the, uh, you know, the very long song. I think it's... 20 minutes or something, or more. And the regulars. Nice, very nice labels. Yeah. Are you listening to this tonight along with <laughs> the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise? <laughs> I should play, I should play this first and then Talking Heads and then Summer in Paradise. It'll sound even worse than, than ever. So, uh, thanks for watching. I would love your thoughts below on what I just bought. Bye.